Hey guys, it's Lee. Let's talk about making a bubble monster. What I love about bubble monsters is that it can be super fun because you're getting some awesome tactile input. You're also working your oral motor skills in your mouth. We've got that nice big old joint right there when you open and close your mouth. You can feel it, that's your TMJ or your temporomandibular joint. We're also gonna be targeting all of those muscles in your face. This is awesome for our kiddos that are working on developing those muscles for their speech. We're gonna work on breath control, which can be important for mindfulness and that mental health aspect. So all you're gonna need for this is a straw, some warm water, and some dish soap. Number one thing that I want you to be careful with is if your child doesn't have those straw skills yet, be careful because we don't want them sucking in the soap. Those are gonna make for some weird burps later. We just wanna make sure that we're gonna be blowing out through our straws. So before you even put that soap into your water, I would have you practice with your child, making sure that they're not drinking in that water. So just doing some bubbles to start. Then once you feel confident that your kiddo is not gonna drink that water, you can take that soap, pour it in, and then watch your bubble monster get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> See how big you can get it? Be careful that you make, don't make too big of a mess and have some towels on hand in case you do. Have some fun with this and send us some pictures of how big you can make those bubble monsters grow. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for listening.